we have an abundance of sugar and unfortunately the industry says low fat. When you want something to taste good, what do you think they trade off when they take out the fat? Yes, they throw a lot of sugar in it. And then sugar becomes very addicting. It's a receptor, opiate receptor agonist, so it will act similar to opiates. It will reduce your T cell counts. So in other words, your lymphocytes, your immune system gets destroyed by too much sugar consumption. So what is sugar? You see the little cubes? They, they come in the form of sucrose, that's a type of sugar, and then there's glucose. So when we measure glycemic index, we're saying whatever glucose, let's say two tablespoons of glucose would do to insulin, that's considered 100. We're gonna count that as 100. That's the worst you can get. Well, guess what? If you take a slice of white bread, believe it or not, it's a 98. So who would have thought that bread is sugar? But by all standards, because it raises our insulin the same as glucose, it's sugar, isn't it? We are told that eating Cheerios is good for your heart. Who here is on the Cheerios diet to help their heart? <laughs> all right, so the glycemic index of Cheerios is 95. And it's loaded with sugar. So high fructose corn syrup is a processed, very concentrated syrup made from corn. And corn is a subsidized grain, so it's very inexpensive for us to get our hands on this stuff. The problem is, and if anybody says sugar is sugar, it is not true. This one has formaldehyde on it. it contributes to obesity and insulin resistance. You don't know how many people I see with diabetes type 2. This is a devastating disease, unfortunately. And unfortunately, it's rampant. And the reason why it's rampant is because, again, it was hidden in a lot of our foods. Hidden in sugary items, like obvious things like snacks and soft drinks. But there are other, what they call natural foods, that are also high in high fructose corn syrup. It promotes things like gout, non-alcoholic fatty liver. That's the new one today. When I was in you know, my 30s and 20s, when I was doing my residency, I, was a, I started out as a pathologist, so I did a lot of autopsies. And in New York City, I got to see what a fatty liver from alcoholism looked like. Today, however, a person with high triglycerides, high insulin, high blood pressure, um, a, a waist size greater than 35 or 40, will have what's called a fatty liver as well high fructose corn syrup is the main culprit. Increased production of advanced glycation end products, AGE. It's kind of cute that it actually, the acronym is AGE. So what are AGEs? Has anybody here ever had a hemoglobin A1C test or know about that test for diabetes? So what a hemoglobin A1C is, advanced glycation end products. What it is, is under high heat, you take sugar like uh, anybody have creme brulee ever? Okay. We have one person in the back. Nobody else is saying yes. Okay. It's okay. Candy apples, we've seen them, right? So candy apples have a hard co core of sugar on it. And how do you make a candy apple? You put it under high heat, just like creme brulee with a torch. And it makes this crystallized sugar. Very hard. Very difficult to penetrate. Okay. So now your cells that look like candy apples, have on it receptors. It says, I'm ready to receive whatever you're going to give me. So if you're going to give me a good vitamin, I'm going to receive it, I'm going to take it in, I'm going to use it as energy. But imagine now, you have these age sugar coatings on all of your cells. Your cells are now become ineffective. So if you ever notice, the blood sugar rises when you have age. Hemoglobin A1C goes up. Now, it doesn't mean only hemoglobin, that protein, has been aged. It's all the proteins in your body. So it, it makes your body hard. So what do we call when your eye lens gets hard? Okay, I don't know, so that's why I'm asking. <laughs> it's called a cataract, okay? When the arteries get hard, it's called atherosclerosis, right? When your bones get hard and brittle as we age, that's osteoporosis. 
So we see the idea. And the new type of diabetes, called type 3 diabetes, has a lot to do with these advanced glycation end products, and that's called Alzheimer's. So we're starting to see now that maybe we messed up a little bit, thinking that sugars are good or low-fat diets are good for us, when in fact, a low-fat diet is bad for us. We've seen the experiment, and we are the result of that experiment.